in the major parts of Ethiopia's development, uh, there is a Chinese footprint, and that's for sure. A number of Chinese, uh, especially qualified uh, officials, qualified technicians, who are <coughs> contributing a lot in Ethiopia's development endeavor. To mention some of them, for example, in the building of all road infrastructures within the last 25 years, uh, then the lion's share goes to the Chinese partnership. In terms of technique and financial support, everything you can say there is a Chinese uh, partnership in that regard. And also to mention others, uh, for example, in uh, railway construction from the capital city Addis Ababa to the port Djibouti uh, is also built by cooperation with Chinese. And the railway, the light railway inside uh, the capital city Addis is also by, built by Chinese, uh, even by Shenzhen Metro. Uh, so uh, there are many that could be mentioned and deserve uh, recognition. And we see China as a real and a strategic partner allocated or China recognized uh, some part of its country especially the southern uh, the Guangdong area and mainly the Shenzhen as an industrial zone. That helped really Guangdong and the rest of the China just to develop, to grow more or rapidly and help the others also to follow uh, and grow all together. So uh, the designation of industrial zone in a great Bay area is helps helped a lot Ethiopia to build its industrial zones. Uh, during this um, uh, pandemic, COVID-19, uh, Ethiopia and China showed really their uh, committed uh, solidarities. Uh, it was Chinese uh, expertise, health professionals who first went to Ethiopia to show their solidarity with Ethiopians. And Ethiopian Airlines, as you mentioned, did not stop its flying to Chinese. So the, 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 the a saying goes that friendship, friend in need is friend indeed. Uh, so we are very much thankful again. And many uh, health facilities, infrastructures, uh, and this test kits for COVID were first sent by Chinese to Africa and to Ethiopia as well, uh, to mention some few of them. Uh, so we are very much grateful for that. I wish I would achieve uh, and I would see the relation between Ethiopia and China, especially the Guangdong province, is more strong than ever.